بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا minority people expect you to be a victim and when you're not they get disappointed <laughs> Like, I get interviewed a lot, and people are always like, you know, Nina, talk about your experience wearing a hijab in a public high school. And they're expecting some, like, gut-wrenching and heartfelt story, and I'm just like, I was prom queen. <laughs> like, I never get randomly selected at the airport. I wish someone harassed me on the airport. That shit would go viral. <laughs> By the way, I want to tell you something. That is the funniest Muslim related job I've ever heard. Thank you so much. Because like it's not my mom is strict and she lets my brother go out and not me. And it's not, it's <laughs> like if I see another TikTok of like my mom doesn't let me go out and she's strict and she threw a shoe at me, I'm going to hang myself. Like that's some, it's like the same thing when like, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I don't know if I'm being yeah, but I want you to go because go I don't want to be insensitive like like very very obnoxious over the top Egyptian acting like the art started in Egypt in the Middle East like Egyptians are the most that, that came out with like TV shows and movies and acting like they started most of it music and that's why Egyptians are always fun to hang out with they're very entertaining my best friend's Egyptian um so um like a lot of other Arabs like they'll do like very stereotypical just bits that are like have been so done so much and it's like that's not even like realistic anymore you know what i'm saying it's just very very stereotypical corny goofy stop stop we're just people like we're normal people we go we get we eat sushi we get starbucks and you even as a comedian like you don't even you can go up there with a hijab on and not talk about set one i yeah I, there's i have plenty of jokes that have nothing to do with being Muslim because I'm also a human. <laughs> That's why another thing like it bothers me so much when I see hijabis on television on like shows is because these writers are a bunch of white people who are trying to like give us that diversity thing and they do it in such horrible ways because it's always revolved around her being a hijabi. Like she's never just a normal character. She's not like you could you could have a, a girl on a show and no one knows if she's Christian, if she's Hindu, if she's Buddhist, if she's if she's just She's just a role on the show. Every hijabi role, the her whole identity is based off her hijab. Either she wants to wear it or she doesn't want to wear it or she's getting bullied. And I'm not taking away from stories of women getting bullied because there are women who get bullied who wear a hijab. Luckily, that wasn't my experience. But like, even on Orange is the New Black, there was a hijabi like inmate and they had like a riot because an inmate shot a cop or something and she just rips her hijab off out of nowhere and like continues running. And I'm like, what What was the point of that? Like, it had no value to the story. The, she didn't even have like- Is this a Netflix show? Yeah, and it's like, wait, what did she do? And then another another show that um I love old school Degrassi with Drake. They came out with a new one that was like based in Canada and there was a hijabi and she was, and I was so happy to see her because like she was in like the math club and like all this like normal stuff. And then season finale, some guy rips it off and she like tells her dad she doesn't want to wear And I'm like, what, why, why, why can't she just be a regular, why can it not be important that she believes in God? She also has a job, has friends, has a lot, like it doesn't have to be only about that. They do this to all minorities. Yeah, it's like it's like the trauma porn. Every black movie that won an Oscar is about slavery. Black people have other things in their life besides slavery trauma. Obvi like you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's just frustrating. When they call a, a, a black superhero, it always has the word black in his name. Like Black Thunder is a superhero. Name. What the? When has Thunder ever been black in the first? Why do you even call it black Thunder? You could have just called him Thunder. And that's why a lot of a lot of like um, no shade to any of the TV shows coming out that are revolving around air like leads and stuff. I love it, but it's very I don't know who I am and I need to figure it out. No, I know exactly who I am. I'm Arab. I'm Muslim. I live in America, and like like I'm never gonna want to be a play a role that's like I don't know who I am and I'm trying to def stop stop. It's so exhausting. Just today, just today, I got an audition for a commercial, for a Ramadan ad. And in the text, it said, models must be comfortable potentially wearing a hijab. And I'm like, don't give the role to someone who's not a hijabi. If she should be, it should be a hijabi playing a hijabi. Right. 
Like, I don't care, period. Right. Or like, I, I, I auditioned for something once and the, the, the role was for a hijabi. I can't, I can't tell you how many girls I saw walk out of that audition room and rip their hijab off. Like, there's plenty of hijabis who want to model, who want to be on ads and print and stuff like that. Like, give them the role. Like, why are you casting white girls pretending to be hijabis? I've heard of it. Snarver. Yeah. The main character is not even Muslim. The whole cast basically isn't Muslim. It's like, why didn't you just use a Muslim woman to show portray a Muslim woman? And you know what I hate about it? It's that show is actually doing what you and I would like, which is she's just she's Muslim. We know she's Muslim, but that's not the main plot. plot. The main plot is that she's Miss Marvel, and I love that. I was so happy with it. Can you vote Miss Marvel? She's not. But the only thing they got wrong is what you're saying. No, no, the cast basically is Muslim. At least the main character. And I don't get that. Like, it's either you make the show about Islam and identity, they make identity the whole show. It's like crazy rich, rich Asians not casting any Asian people. Is that actually true? No, no, the whole cast is Asian, which is why it was great, because Asians make great fucking television and movies and stuff. Um, yeah, it's I mean, I wanted to bring you on the podcast, but I was like, that's a. I mean, I don't say no to non Muslims, but it's like, bro, there's nothing. I get it. I get I get the point where people are acting and they're pretending to be things that they're not and they're pretending to be people that they're not. And they're pretending to be gay even though they're not. They're like I get that. I get that aspect. But don't don't publicize this as like we're being we're we're being pro minority and we're doing this and we're doing that and, and then not do it. Exactly. Don't paint it like you're trying to like you're trying to be diverse and then not be diverse. Like the Nike hijab thing. I'm sorry. The Nike hijab is not it's ugly. It's not. It falls off. It doesn't. It's not suitable for a woman working out. And it's like, who? Did, a bunch of white people designed this. They got a bunch of white girls to model it. Like, so you wanna, you wanna, like, promote it that it's for the Muslim community, and then not involve any Muslims in creating it, selling it, being a part of it. Like, especially that you don't do this often, Nike. You're I would never wear the hijab, Nike. My head looks like an egg. It's not cute at all, and it slips off. It's terrible. I wore it once to the gym and I was like, I can't box in this. Mm, that's why it hasn't caught. That's, that's why I haven't caught by it. Like, I haven't heard anything about it outside of when it originally came out. Listen, I love that Ibtihaj was kind of one of the people to like promote this because like get your check. Like, get your check, you know? I'm not mad at her. But like Nike fucked up. <laughs> I wish they did it for that. But yeah, but, but it wasn't a good one at all. It's like if you're gonna do it, then do it the right way. Or then just don't do it. We never asked you to make us a believe me, I get all my, my hijabs on on hijab Instagram pages. You know, I don't I didn't need Nike to make one.